At Hidden Villa, originally founded by Frank and Josephine Duvenick in 1926, we foster respect for the environment and respect for one another. We promote social justice and bring together people of diverse cultures and backgrounds. We use our organic farm and wilderness preserve, encompassing over 1,600 acres to teach future generations to appreciate and respect our natural world. Hidden Villa's educational programs serve and connect people from all over the world. Our summer camp is the oldest multicultural and racially integrated summer camp in the country. The Hidden Villa Environmental Education Program was founded on the first Earth Day in 1970. Our community-supported agriculture program produces organic food for sale and for donation to local communities. Our hostel is the oldest operating hostel in the United States and is a haven for international travelers, families, and local groups. Our preservation of historic buildings and attention to sustainable architecture provide tangible examples of our commitment to land stewardship. Our internship program educates and inspires future generations of leaders. At Hidden Villa, our mission is to inspire a just and sustainable future through our programs, land, and legacy. Hidden Villa's legacy began in 1924 when Frank and Josephine Duvenek purchased a thousand acres of land in what is now Los Altos Hills, California. They moved into their new custom-made family home there in 1930. The Duvenek house soon became a center of social activism. The Duvenek sheltered refugees fleeing from the Nazis, assisted Japanese-American families during and after their internment in camps, and provided an operating base for social and educational reform. In her autobiography, entitled Life on Two Levels, Josephine recalls the sudden evacuation of Japanese Americans from their homes during World War II. She and Frank undertook a weekly 60-mile round-trip journey to visit the Japanese Americans interned at Tanfaran Camp. We went every Thursday to visit Tanfaran, taking with us gifts of home-cooked foods or canned goods to vary the monotony of mass meals. We brought toys for the children, reading matter, which was censored at the gate, and other articles requested by the recipients. Distressed by the internment of the Japanese Americans, as well as by the Holocaust and the racism they encountered in their own community, the Duvenex established one of the first multicultural and racially integrated summer camps in the country. In her book, Josephine explains her motivation. Why not organize a summer camp aimed at multicultural understanding? My experience at Peninsula School and with my own kids, my familiarity with camping techniques and outdoor living, and the availability of open space and simple accommodations made it seem entirely feasible. I began to sound people out. People said, it's a nice idea, but it won't work. The children will never mingle. The white parents won't send you their children. The black parents will not trust you to take care of their kids. Same old nonsense. But in any case, I thought I should give it a try. Josephine not only gave it a try, she succeeded beyond expectation. Her very first summer camp, under the direction of a young African-American woman, enrolled 61 children from Caucasian, African-American, Filipino, and Mexican families. For 1945, this was a remarkable feat. Pursuant to their vision of social justice, the Duvenex opened their home to the United Farm Workers Movement in the 1960s. In her book, Josephine recalls, I was asked if I could provide a meeting place for a small group of Mexican-Americans where they would be safe from publicity or surveillance of any kind. Hidden Villa Hostel provided a secret retreat, and it was there that the preliminary plans were drawn up, which resulted in the first major California strike. Respect for others is tied to respect for the environment. To Josephine and Frank, the environmental education program arose naturally from their duty of land stewardship and their interest in child development. Josephine wrote, I have always felt that no one can own land and that custodianship is a sacred trust that involves great responsibility along with the enjoyment. But to share with children and to be able to contribute vital educational experiences to their growth is a great reward in itself. Above the valley, Adobe Creek plunges down the steep hillsides, which are dense with trees. Eight miles of hiking trails lead through pristine wilderness. On the south-facing hillsides, chaparral shrubs burst with wildflowers. Deer, bobcats, mountain lions, and many smaller creatures roam the wilderness. Thanks to the Duvenex, these treasures remain protected for us and future generations to enjoy. Below the wilderness trails, the Duvenex family home now houses offices for the staff and is available as a group retreat center. 
Several historic buildings at Hidden Villa predate the arrival of the Duvenex and are still used to support farming operation. The hostel and other modern buildings of sustainable architecture provide comfortable space for travelers, campers, volunteers, and staff. Hidden Villa's working organic farm is also a teaching farm. It is used by our programs to convey to children and adults the importance of understanding the sources of our food and the process by which we receive it. By caring for and observing Hidden Villa's farm animals, children learn about their fellow creatures and about societal interaction. Today, the Duvenek legacy flourishes in Hidden Villa's programs. Our programs use the 1,600-acre farm and wilderness preserve to advance our mission of a just and sustainable future. Taken together, they provide year-round access to the farm and wilderness. Every single Hidden Villa program runs with the help of volunteers. Volunteers tell us they gain as much as they give. Without their dedication, our programs would not be viable. Every year, our environmental education program brings over 22,000 school children to Hidden Villa. Volunteer guides lead small groups of children in wilderness hikes and visits to the farm animals. Tours of the organic educational garden include tasting a fresh picked vegetable, learning the six plant parts, and understanding the role of manure. Hidden Villa Summer Camp was founded by the Duvenex to specifically address racism. It seemed to me, if one could get hold of children before prejudice intervened, there might be a good chance to prevent its development. A group accustomed to one another from the cradle should be able to work together harmoniously on common interests all through life. Today, Hidden Villa continues the Duvenex mission by operating summer camps in which children of all backgrounds learn to respect themselves, each other, and the natural environment. To attract a diverse camp population, we offer scholarships to campers from a wide range of backgrounds. Fun camp activities build confidence and self-esteem, build leadership abilities, and teach problem-solving skills. Over 1,100 campers, ranging in age from 6 to 17 years, attend Hidden Villa day camps and residential camps each summer. In a letter to Hidden Villa's Board of Trustees, a former Hidden Villa camper and camp counselor wrote, Over and over again, I witnessed significant life transformations on behalf of the kids attending camp. One boy told me by the end of one summer that he was confident he didn't have to join a gang after all when he went back home. I saw shy young women come into a place of confidence about their ideas and their bodies after having hiked all the way to Black Mountain. And I saw children making friends with people outside their ethnic group. Hidden Villa's vegetable fields and gardens supply produce for camp meals and provide learning experiences for campers and school children. But that's not all they do. Our fields supply our community-supported agriculture program, which distributes weekly organic produce baskets for a fixed annual fee. Volunteers help harvest the produce and concurrently learn about Hidden Villa's mixed vegetable, sustainable, organic farming practices. We also donate a quarter of our produce to Mountain View's Community Services Agency. This agency distributes Hidden Villa's fresh, locally grown organic vegetables to families who would otherwise have little or no access to it. Hidden Villa's Hostel is available to rent as a retreat for individuals, families, and groups desiring to spend time near the farm and wilderness. Our community programs feature workshops, classes, performances, and activities for community members of all ages. Discover Japanese drumming, or wash a cow, or join a bird hike. Reserve Hidden Villa for a birthday party, bake breads from around the world, and learn about the cultures from which they come. Our programs offer something for everyone. The Josephine and Frank Duvenek Awards Dinner honors the Duvenek's optimistic, inspiring vision and celebrates Hidden Villa's ongoing mission. Now, more than ever, our global world needs what Hidden Villa offers. Hidden Villa continues to educate and inspire future leaders because it is jointly supported by its dedicated staff, volunteers, donors, board members, program participants, and visitors. Together, we can support this historic, visionary, and vibrant organization. Together, we can work toward a just and sustainable future.